Hey, good morning, peeps. Hey, uh, good morning. I think it's about midnight. But man, I did it again. I worked my ass off all day. Was blessed beyond measure. The revenue that we had is sick. Um, but it's about midnight. I've slept for like six hours. <whistles> don't, don't. It's such an amazing night, such an amazing night. That place up there, I used to live up at the top there, and it was awesome, awesome sauce. It was awesome, it was amazing, but they only lease it. So, um, cause I spent like a million dollars on an education in finance and economics that taught me um, the same thing my grandpa learned during the Great Depression is don't fucking rent when you can buy. So I didn't, I, I don't live there. Um, <clears throat> You'd think that people would have had enough of silly love songs. I look around me, I see it isn't so. You'd think the world would had enough of silly love songs. Some people want to fill the world with silly love songs. And what's wrong with that? I'm going to get hell off. Because here I go again. I love you. Doop, doop, doop. I love you. Love doesn't come in a minute. Sometimes it doesn't come at all. I only know that when I'm in it, love isn't silly. It isn't silly at all. All right, <clears throat> that's the end of my song. You wouldn't believe the fucking day I had. I mean, we literally killed it. Um. Oh man, I gotta get some. I can't. Oh, they're open till three. I got. I'll go. I'll come back. Amazing food right there. You can't get better Mediterranean food. You can't. Um. I've got to uh, thank the commissioner of the Houston Hardball League. And two guys that deal drugs, cocaine specifically. Their names are Choice Johnson and Carlos Ramon, who are aggressively attacking me on social media. And they just don't know that I've been through this on Surf, at Surfside Beach. I've been through it. You can't fucking hurt me. I'm not doing anything wrong. Um, but they're successful. And I thank them, God bless them, for weeding out the weak, weak, weak people that aren't strong enough to be in my life. They're not. And I'm so thankful for those enemies that pretended to be my friends. Hey, yeah, we're going to come to your baptism, and then we're going to have a party after. Oh, um, thank you for making uh, all those meetings for us in Detroit for the movie that we're making. But then I overslept until 1045 and overslept the most important meeting in my life. Yeah, it fucking does that. I have experience with it, and that's what it does. It changes a man, and it creates evil. On this building behind me is my, one of my favorite, not one of, it's my favorite slogan of all downtown. Underneath, what's that building? That building, and surely you can't see it. It's an old bank, and there is the inscription in Latin. Frugalis, frugality, the mother of all virtues in Latin. I fucking love it. Not one of these guys, people knows what that means, but God bless my education. Wow. Wow. So amazing things happening. We've been promoted via getting kicked out of the Houston Hardball League because of the ejection that I did. I got ejected from a game they really just, it's really a Satan thing. It truly is. I didn't do anything wrong. I posted the video. 
And there's a saying, the commissioner never spoke to me. All I did is spoke to Carlos and Choice, who are doing cocaine. They offered me some. I said no. I don't like being up for three days straight. Um, and not being able to get an erection. That's what it does. Um, but it feels good. Like so to, It's like downhill skiing. Like it's really exciting. It's really exciting at first, and then like three days later, you're like still downhill skiing. It's like terrible. It's a terrible thing. And thankful for my addiction 20 years ago. I want to help those men, and I've offered such. Um, I went on a date to that really cool store. Look at that, the home of Easy Credit. It was a Dean's clothing store. I went on a date there like 26 years ago with my uh, with my ex-wife. It was very memorable. Uh, hey, how's it going? Um, this is a cool, I'm walking down Main Street. Sometimes it doesn't come at all. Oh my, so I sang that song yesterday uh, just because I was so tired and so busy and I sang that song um, by Paul McCartney or Wings, whatever, I can't remember. Um, <laughs> and my beautiful, fun assistant, she's like, don't you ever sing my part of that song again. And we're going we're gonna to sing it. I'm going to try to do it today or tomorrow. Like, we're just going to be in a random crowded elevator. And we're going to get people to sing along. I love you. I'll sing. You'd think that people would have had enough of silly love songs. I love this. Look at this. Shoe shine. I look around me and I see it isn't so. <laughs> she wants to sing the next one. And then, like, you go back and forth, like, several lines. And uh, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> everyone's saying, ah, love you. So the other morning, I didn't capture it because I was just exercising. This homeless guy, I'm walking. We're walking in opposite directions. He looks at me. He's like, and he starts going, ah. And he's got summer teeth, you know, summer here, summer there. Uh, and we started singing because we had sung like the, the week or two prior. We sang that song on the street together. So, I mean, it's like spread joy and it's contagious as fuck. You spread hatred, hatred and it eliminates, it eliminates. It fucking misery loves company. It's so bizarre. I just got a text from a guy that I think is a Christian man, but he's a pussy. Fucking coward. I'm like, call me. He's like, no, I heard what you did. And I I don't want to be that Bible thumper, but like, you know, gossip is a sin. And gossip destroys relationships. And I didn't even say that, because fuck them. <clears throat> I got threatened with violence by a uh, nice butt. Um ADHD. I got threatened with violence and it's on video. And the commissioner of the league hasn't said a word. And I did not deserve it. I just told him, which people don't like when they're really bad and they're not big people. And you say, you're bad at what you do. And you just explain why they're bad. And you say, I can help you. They don't like it. So they get angry and they spread rumors and gossip. But the commissioner won't address that this fat 300 pound guy and they just said I personally attacked him I did not if I was going to personally attack him I'd say you fat fucking piece of shit that's what I would have done if I personally attacked him but I wouldn't do that I wasn't arguing a call I asked them for, to explain the rules of baseball and they, they didn't know the rules because they're terrible not a complicated rule Um, but he said to me, I said, I'll, I, I will teach you. I'll do a clinic. I'll teach you these rules. And he said, I will meet you at five o'clock at Houston, uh, University of Houston. I said, um, sure. He's like, I will meet you. And he escalated again. I'm like, okay. And I'm like, are you threatening me with violence? He was insinuating. I'm going to kick you up, kick your ass. He doesn't know. Dude, you 
fuck with me and you threaten me and come after me or my family, my players, if, if threatened, these loving, nurturing hands will fuck you up. Like, sincerely. And that intimidates some people. Fuck you. So, I'm taking my team and we're going to have a premier travel organization of 30-year-old men. We're going to look for, for uh, tournaments around the country and play in tournaments every other weekend. And guess who's going to pay for it? Mass Enterprises. We're blessed beyond measure. We're closing business all over the place. I have the top experts in the country, US and Canada. Uh, and not the top in Europe, but we work there and I have some top people working on it. Um, and we're blessed beyond measure. Just fucking raking it. And uh, it's amazing. And uh, I, I don't have a place in the sky with a concierge in a valet. I have all the cars I want. I have all the nicest clothes. Because <laughs> I wear the nicest clothes. <laughs> and uh, that's a joke. Um, once in a while I wash them by swimming. Um, I don't know what else I need. My kids, my children are grow grown and they don't need me anymore. They have a couple hundred thousand dollars in the bank each. A little less than that now, the market went down. Islamic Daiwa Center. So, um, I'm like, okay, I make a hundred dollars. I'm like, I, I guess I'll just put it, take it and put it in that pile over there. But blessings, like these deals come to me. And I'm, uh, I mean, I've been working very hard for 26 years. And so I guess you could say it's the fruit of my labor. But now I just like point people in the right direction and have them staff that's been with me for over a decade that are amazingly talented and gifted and amazing amazing and uh i talk to the clients tomorrow i'm going to close a deal for a top plastics company and um they they need to be told what to do like this is what they basically said they're like yeah we're real smart we're looking at all these charts and graphs and politics and stuff where the energy market's going up we really are paying you $500,000 a year to tell us what the fuck to do. So tomorrow I'm gonna tell them what to do in no uncertain terms. And they'll, they'll buy it because it's, it's proper advice. You wonder why I feel energized down here? It's, it's beautiful, love it. Once again, my rental bike kiosk won't work. It didn't register that I sent it back. Uh, locked it back in. Uh, anyway. But this money, what am I supposed to do with it? I mean, I'll die with it. I, I don't want to give anything to my sons. That's the worst curse I could give to them is my money. Um, I'm like, I close the deal, I make money. I'm like, hey, Brotherhood in Baseball, let's spend it. Let's go to San Antonio, there's a tournament get in my Winnebago that I don't have right now, but I will in short order. Um, hey, there's a tournament in Phoenix next weekend. Who's in? I got 38 guys that have played with me. 38 solid men, and we can garner a team on any given day, last minute even. So, you know, when doors close, I could get mad and say that the commissioner of the Houston Hardball League is a weak pussy. And he's never spoken to me. He's only listened to these two guys that are on cocaine. And that's all he's listened to. And they they have a web page called The Best Baseball in Houston. And they control it. And it's got, I don't know, 6,000 people. I don't know how many he's got on it. But they don't allow anything positive from me. And I have done amazing things for them. And I, it was due today, but it didn't get done. I, I'm creating a new logo for them with my art team. And I had a conference call with these two guys, with the one guy and my art committee, and we communicated with our words what the logo we want for what the mission is. And then these guys backstab me, it's deception. But I'm not mad, I'm not mad. It's their, their next wife. Thank you for the stepping stone. Thank you for teaching me that people are fucking losers. Many of, many of us are. And there are haters, when you achieve something, People want to pull you down. 
And instead of calling Joe Banasic a weak pussy, because he's a good man, but he has not spoken to me and he's not addressed that the umpire threatened to kick my ass. And the commissioner of the league was on the speakerphone with me and heard it. It's like totally recorded and it's all absolutely unacceptable. It's like literally a terroristic threat. Instead, they backtrack. They're not big enough men. Joe Banasic is not a big enough man to go, whoa, 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 whoa. Jason, you can't argue call balls and strikes. These umpires do their best. I never argued a call. I'll argue a call for like 10 seconds and then yeah, sometimes you miss a call. But, they, but they're looking at this video of me getting ejected for politely asking for rules explanations as politely as possible. And they're like, you made a judgment of error, an error of judgment. Okay, so let's say I did, because I did tell him he's the worst empire I've ever seen, because it was the truth. <clears throat> uh, and they ejected me. Okay, okay. I'm sorry I was out of line for questioning the authority where my player got his fucking leg broken, had to go to the hospital, his broken tibia out for the season. On a call, my, my, the, 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 he was the catcher that broke, got his leg broken, my teammate. And the, um, the guy that didn't slide, which there's not a rule that says you must slide, but it's an unwritten rule. It wasn't malicious, it was unintentional contact. And, but he broke his leg because he didn't slide. And, and he got called out even though he was safe. And so, like, I literally have 500 people yelling at me that I'm, I can't argue if he's out or safe because these umpires are doing the best and you're aggressive. Fuck yes, I'm aggressive. Fuck yeah. And I'll never stop. But I'm polite and I'm caring and passionate. But they're telling me, oh, no, you can't do that. These guys make me say, I didn't argue the call. I argued because I said, sir, please, Mr. Empire, please tell me the rule on sliding because the prior season, the same guy got called out for not sliding and got ejected for not sliding. There was unintentional contact or the umpire deemed it was intentional. So he'd made a judgment call. Fine. Whether the umpire was right or wrong, you, you win some, you lose some. I'm not arguing that. But these guys, these umpires are dickheads, but I'm not mad at them at all. God bless them because it's elevated us to the next level. I'm going for a walk. I was going to go for a bike ride. Um, I was going to go for a bike ride, but I can't. Um, so I'm, I'm literally walking around and I'm formulating two, three different business plans, actually. And, um, yeah, it comes when I exercise. It frees up the mind and the movement of the body, frees the spirit and all that. Uh, but I'm writing a business plan for a travel baseball club because of the drama I created. But it was really these two guys on cocaine creating drama. That's what Satan does. Satan swoops in, creates drama where there's order, swoops in, fucking makes all this chaos, makes all this trouble and strife, makes people hate each other. Then he swoops in and, oh, he smooths it out. This guy, Carlos Ramon, this fucking cocksucker. Did I say that? Oh, did I cuss? Because you're a fucking cocksucker, Carlos. I mean, I've, I've called him eight times. He won't, he won't talk to me because all he wants to do is create trouble because Satan is working through him because he's on cocaine. Because he offered me some. Um... And he swoops in, and now he's the savior of the Houston Heart. He saved him from aggressive Jason. That's what Satan does. Created the problem, and then swoops in and saves the day and makes someone else look bad. And destroying relationships with other people, but I'm so thankful because of relationships that I've lost. I can name like five or six guys. I thought they were strong men, but they're not. They're cowards. And they're not strong enough to be in my life. And that's the way God, um, when you have faith, he removes them from your life. So I appreciate that. Okay, call in hour. Who wants to call in? Because there's no calling in. <laughs> my favorite building right there. 
I might go for a swim. That building, this is the opposite side. If I go up to my building, which is to the right of that, on the pool, at the pool on the 15th floor, is magnificent. And we'll have a party there, a house warming party. <clears throat> um, you got a view from the right side, one block away. It is like the depth of it, the, what do you call them, pictures where there's stuff in the foreground and background. It's just stunning and it's lit like that. It's, oh, it's just beautiful. I've changed my mind. I'm not going to go to the pool. My friend Sunny, who's a beautiful woman about my age, who I've been literally flirting with for a decade, and her son runs the bar. She may or may not be there. But I'm going to introduce you to them. The young man's amazing. He's like, Mom, Mom. And she's, she's really hot. She's really nice and smart. And all of that stuff. She's like, Mom, why don't you date him, man? <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want to date. I don't. Don't. Never again. No. Just like those two gay guys in Akron that I thought were gay that I hung out with the whole afternoon and we were doing some business. And I was at their house together and the house was neat and orderly and I thought they were gay. I just assumed it. No big deal. Nothing wrong with it. I just assumed they were gay. And later on, they like, let's go to the titty bar. I'm like, what? Um, so we go to the titty bar and all the strippers are like, right to them. <laughs> and they're like, you know, we both have girlfriends, long-term girlfriends. They, they come over for a while and then they leave because we just believe that's the most natural way to live. And that has actually stuck with me because I always said to my dad, I'm like, my dad probably would have lived a few bit longer years if he had a woman saying, eat this, don't eat that, and controlling him, but he would have been fucking miserable. So I asked him, he's like 40, and I'm like, dad, how come you don't get a wife, you know? My dad was nice, nice looking enough. He's like, Jay, I don't want. My dad, my dad did not speak eloquently. He's like, ah, I don't want any of that. Why would I want that hassle? And that's why I'm single. I mean, I, whatever attributes I have, I... I can literally date most, most of the most beautiful women in the world. And I was with one and she's the most, one of the most beautiful women in the world, but I could date like all of them, most of them, or just have one of them that's beautiful yelling at me and demeaning me. Fuck that shit. I don't want it either. Um, I'm going to go into Sunny's bar. I don't really want to go to the bar though, because... I'll be very tempted to drink. Oh, but if they're replaying the Astros, yeah, I'm going to have to sit. Because I didn't watch the Astros. I fell asleep. Okay. Going in. Oh, Sunny's here. Tell me she's not beautiful. Tequila or vodka? Hi, Sunny. Sometimes it doesn't come at all. Hey, can I please have an ice water with lemon? Thank you. Yeah, if I was on, uh, if I was Dwight on um, Weird Science and I had the ability to build a woman, right over there. Yeah. I've literally been flirting with her for 10 years, she just won't. Like, I flirt with Kelly, she's like, not having it. I don't know. Some women, like, just, like, instantaneously, you're like, yes, I'll kiss you, kiss me. Others are like, 10 years, she's like, no. No soup for you. I'm the pussy Nazi. <laughs> it's fun to entertain yourself. Hi, Sonny. Say hello to my mother, my future ex-wife. <laughs> water with lemon, please. I don't have any lemon, but the water right over here, Dave. Oh, okay. I'll get it. Oh, no, that's bad. See? Must know. No business with me. I don't blame her. I don't blame her. Okay, I'm going to go. Good night, everybody. God bless you.